I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. Martini Production. <laughs> it's Japanese. How do you know? Because I bought it in Japan. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Bruce Wayne. Hey, everyone. John the Everyday Collector here, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a Reactables for you today, a show where myself and some of my good friends and community members react to some of the news that we're getting in the collecting community. Tonight, we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorites, but before we get into it, I'm going to introduce uh, who I have on tonight. I got uh, Joey, aka Vane. How's it going, brother? Am I the, uh, the friend or the good community member? both it's you guys are both it was a good friend and community member come on yes now. i was like who's coming that are good friends <laughs> wow yeah, I hate to hear it. i'm good happy to be here first reactables always interested in a batman conversation you'll love to see it uh, glad you can make it man oh, um, about batman yeah we are secret Shh. brenton how you doing i'm doing well brenton's I'm, everywhere uh, it's like every show i don't know he's i'm ready he, to go you ready he's to from go that yeah. danny lee camp just everywhere just pops in everywhere exactly he's like my miyagi to my daniel son <laughs> Jeez. um so today we're gonna talk about what prime one just put up for pre-order we saw it at the last showcase but they finally put it up for pre-order the 1989 batman both uh keaton in his suit and um in his outfit, hello, his, his 89 out, outfit with the cowl, both suits. Uh, so we're going to start it off. They gave us two versions here. We're going to start it off with the two-pack here. They gave us the Bruce Wayne in his tuxedo and the Batman two-pack. Uh, that's coming in at 2799 US. So a bit of a price tag there, but you're yeah. getting two third scale statues for that price. You're getting a lot, um, yeah. but that is still a tough pill to swallow, especially when, yeah, there's not too many other statue companies putting stuff out that's that expensive for, I mean, the, the, the one that comes to mind is like the LBS Hulk. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting a third scale and a portrait. <laughs> how, how could you? This is, holds such a dear place in my heart so exciting i i've always said to myself i didn't even think that this would ever happen that any company would touch uh the 89 batman hot toys did with their figures but i never thought that a statue company would come out and do something like this i'm absolutely ecstatic because he's my batman when someone says batman the first rendition i think of is michael keaton it's just what i grew up with so i'm super stoked for this um and you're considering it correct i am i'm really considering it are you considering the two pack yes sir the, okay. i mean the way the way the singles priced exactly the, the value is definitely in the two pack they kind of pigeon you pigeonhole you into the two pack to be honest in my let, opinion uh, let, let's talk about that single pricing because i've seen a lot of complaints online that um the concept of the single is now really expensive. And yeah, I mean, they're trying to force you to the two-pack. Well, yeah, but I, I looked at the patents in Batman that they're doing, and it's the same exact price, and that went up for PO almost a year ago. So it's not like you can blame inflation. Yeah. Or uh, another thing that I saw is the actor likeness is yeah. causing the price to increase and i didn't feel that way because there's no way that like pattinson commands as much as keaton would in my mm -hmm. eyes and for everyone watching uh the single pack which the single release is just the batman uh 15.99 usd which compared to some other prime one stuff seems on par because i know the likeness does cost so like i just ordered the punchline she was 15. 
So like the extra hundred dollars for the likeness makes sense to me. And isn't Constantine one third fifteen ninety nine? Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine. So the fact that we're getting an actual actor likeness, the price seems on point. Look at the cowl. Just look at the cowl. Yeah, I mean they perfected that. It's this is as perfect as you can get, in my opinion. I like how they gave us, uh, they gave us gave us some swap outs with the grapple gun, uh, and then an open hand and a fisted hand. I like that. Um, what are your thoughts? Now here is where, here's where it gets a little tricky with the cape. So the cape is not sculpted; it's mixed media. What do you like guys that. think about that? I don't like it. You don't like it? Okay. I'm, I prefer sculpted, just because I'm dumb and don't know how to clean fabric capes. How about you, Brenton? Uh, so I think there's two aspects to this. One, I like the idea of having two different display options where you can either drape the cape over his arms and have them covered like he is in the movie, or you can fold it back and then you can see the hands with the switch outs. But the negative side of that is what is the material? Because well, if they go pleather, then... I know there's going to be a flaking issue. Some 100%. collectors will face that at some point. 100% with you. I really think that this cape, to get the look from the movie, it had to be a fabric cape, in my opinion. Those I, are I, different. Are those, like, does this swap out with the head sculpt? No, no, it's just where it folds. You could, where the seam is. Do you see the seam on the left-hand side? I do, but I can't believe you're going to tuck it under that clean. No, it tucks over, so it's like folded back. Oh, uh, okay. I completely agree with you, but the, uh, so I don't think, I think for this suit, fabric is a better option. I don't think sculpted would have come out as nice. I'm usually a sculpted cape kind of guy, but I like what they did here because it looks great even from the back of the statue the way it sits and it has the creasing and it folds it looks fantastic and to your point the fact that you can have both display options where you can hide the arms is fantastic but and i'm going to make a post about this on prime one on the facebook group just to kind of get the word out there this has to be a high-end material preferably a leather especially at the price point that we're paying for this yeah. it, this cannot be pleather it cannot be pleather please this is such a beautiful release it would be a travesty to have this up as a pleather cape look how beautiful the folds are here so are we assuming there's no wires in this since both poses are draped no I, I don't i don't think you're gonna get wire here i would assume that yeah now, can you scroll down to the bottom again? Yes. Do you think these lights are going to light up? They do. They do. You're going to either have, you think it's going to be battery? Or is it going to be a uh, plug-in? I can look at the description and see if there's an AC adapter mentioned. Because I think that'll look really cool if you oh. can turn those lights on and it just like highlights him. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It does look, look nice. It does. Like the way it lays on the body, I think it's 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 stunning. And the deep look at the way even the cowl. The details in the cowl. But do you see how like the torso it it's kinda it's not like perfect and it was just like the movie like that though. Like it has uh like a sheen over the chest mm. or something. That it wasn't like perfectly smooth in the movie, like yeah. it was a, a gruffness to it, I would say. What are your thoughts on the base? Good. Simple. Yeah, I mean, what, what does it remind you of? Is that more Batcave or Access Chemicals? Access Chemicals, what came to mind to me? Yeah. I agree. Oh, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas, Christmas honestly. Look Christmas at comes at quite the cost. <laughs> I know it's it's so it is pricey. It is pricey, but oh, this is so this is just awesome. Look at 
Look at this portrait. Look at the eyes. Okay, actually, that leads into a question I had. So you're not, you've told me you don't plan on like immediately POing. When do you Correct. PO, Correct. where will you PO from? Are you I a will a sideshow not, guy? Or yeah, no? I wouldn't go directly. Uh, I won't go directly from Prime 1 because for me here in Canada, it doesn't make sense. They don't give us multiple options for pre-ordering. We have the air only, and it's usually fairly pricey. And considering this is going to be uh, two third scale pieces. I, I won't go through prime one. Well, I was bringing that up. Um, cause on these movie pieces, specifically blitzway ones that have been kind of hit or miss, uh, where sideshow I know offers a 30 day return. If you're just flat out, not happy with it. Um, I Another, don't, that's a great point. I don't know if prime one does, cause I'd be nervous. This shows up and isn't to this quality. Like some people were very disappointed with the wonder woman, the Linda Carter. Yeah. And if you got it and you opened it and it's, maybe half as good and you want to return it like sideshow will accept that <laughs> yeah that's a massive uh benefit to what sideshow well, offers the portrait you're gonna have to be worried about is the bruce wayne right i think Correct. they're gonna nail yeah. the batman cow yep. And, yep and the face underneath it's it's the wayne one that is really gonna be you know can they execute that in a final product the shading of the of the black where the in the eyes is it's just this is this is spectacular yeah i hope they can deliver on it yeah i mean this prototype they nailed and then does does the no es thing bother you yet john well i'm, I'm used to it um no es uh, no I, i'm, I'm okay I'm okay. Yeah. To be determined. I'm okay with it. Just having to wait a little bit. I'm used to it at this point. That's kind of what's, go what's been going on, uh, with all the releases. It's, we, we're not getting the U the ES right off the bat. Do you think there's a chance that sideshow doesn't carry this? I would hope not. Did they get the other Batmans like the Batman? Yeah. They, yeah. they got both of those. The, like the artist version or whatever that they released and yeah so this is slated to release may to august of 2024 so we have some time uh let me see about here so you get uh where is it fabric cape so there's no mention as to what type of materials used for the cape material says polystone and other materials uh, spe uh specifications here is highly detailed likeness sculpture of michael keaton Perfectly designed Batman's costume with fabric cape. 89 bat. So this is, uh, so the the base is actually a bat cave themed. It says it's the base is Batman 89 bat cave themed base. And you guys were saying access chemicals. Do you think the bat cave has fire extinguishers all over it? Yeah, I don't remember tubing <laughs> like that. I remember grading like it's on the top, but the sides where it has like actual tubes and. I'll yeah. go back to it quick. Pipes, I should say. Three swappable right hands, open fist, open fist and grapple gun, and two swappable left hands, open and fist. No mention of um, adapters. With Prime 1, it's usually battery. Yep. Let's see if we can go to the base quickly just to take a quick look, and then we'll look at the Keaton. So if you're in on this, are you in on Catwoman? Uh, it's a rabbit hole. I know. Because then, then Penguin and then hopefully Joker. Yeah, but are you OCD enough that it would bother you that you don't have the right Batman suit for Catwoman? That's why I'm not 100% having to get Catwoman. Is that not a fire extinguisher? I don't think it's a fire extinguisher. What is it then? Not sure. Okay. You know yeah, what it kind of looks like? Those little gas containers that were at the balloons during the parade. Yeah. What... Okay. And I the, wi the wiring can be related to the lighting. You can kind of connect it to, to that it's it's connecting all the lighting. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's freaking sick. All right, let's take a look quickly at the, uh, the Bruce Wayne now. So this was the single version. Go to the ultimate version here. 
And we have the Bruce Wayne, again, $2,799 for the Ultimate version. And I'll just mention quickly what this one comes with. Uh, Bruce Wayne. So uh, everything the other one came with. But this one comes in addition with the Bruce Wayne, Wayne Manor-themed base. Uh, of course, LED, same swap outs. For the Bruce Wayne, you get the, uh, the Batarang that's detachable from the base, which I thought was cool. We'll take a look at that. I love the perfectly designed Bruce Wayne suit. It was <laughs> I, in, the, <laughs> in the specifications. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... I think it's there. What are your thoughts? I think it's great. I just hope they can deliver. Yeah, I mean, from just seeing these pictures, it looks like they captured Keaton perfectly. Yeah, or good enough. I mean, I, nobody else is doing it better. And how about the suit? So it's not a sculpted suit, fully tailored. That would make me nervous if I don't have this in, like, a Maja case. Like, how am I supposed to clean a whole suit? I'm worried about a cape. Let alone a whole suit. In a black yeah. suit. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice behind glass for sure. But I think it was the way to go instead of sculpted. Personally. I know it reminds me of that scene when he's um runs into Knox and yeah. Vicky when they're staring at those statues he has. <laughs> yeah, talking about how crazy grant. he is. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Well, that's what the scene is from. That's actually I'll I'll show a video. We'll put up a video shortly that Prime One put out, just a two-minute little video, and they actually put this in the background of his kind of like a little museum of artifacts uh, okay. in the manor. So then they nailed the pose perfectly because that's what I thought of. So, so they got to do a Knox and Vicky. Here's the base. Yeah, right. Oh. You're gonna need a long lens. They're, yeah, they're exactly. Not they're not doing them. No, of course not. <laughs> I want a bob. Nobody, nobody's paying twenty eight hundred dollars for <laughs> that two pack. We all need a bob and a Joker. Well, as the next two pack. Well tailored. Um, guy. One thing I I do say is I do appreciate this Bruce Wayne because you're not going to get this anywhere else. I appreciate this big time, but I almost would have preferred if this was a um, Nicholson Joker to go with it, as opposed to Bruce. Can you agree on that? Would you, then it wouldn't be a two pack. Then it'd be like a completely different two pack, <laughs> and it would be even more expensive. Well, it probably can... well, yeah, but or at least I don't know. I would have liked to see the the Joker before the Bruce Wayne. It is an odd, odd thing that they would do this ahead of the other ones. Even well, I almost think it's like a. a a J and D style they're trying to well, do that's here. That's what I'm thinking of. They're following in J and D's footsteps, where J and D did the Bale, Wayne, and Bale Batman, Pants yeah. and Wayne, Pants yeah. and Batman. Uh, yeah, and then the only other nitpick I have, which is very minor, is I would have liked the option of possibly putting putting them on the same base. Yeah. Right, because these two bases are so different. You know what I'm saying? You put them next to each other. Yeah, they're gonna look. Still gonna look good, but I would like that option of having them both possibly on the same base. I wonder right. what the aftermarket's gonna be on this one. Like yeah. after the ES is set, because the only way you can get it's a two pack. Exactly. So if you get it and then all of a sudden you want to sell it, like I wonder what the aftermarket's gonna be on the Bruce Wayne. That yeah, that'll be we'll have to see. We'll have Do you to think see. a lot of people will sell those to break up the set? I don't think they'll do it intentionally. But obviously there will be less of the Bruce Wayne than the Batman. How many, but there might be just a fraction of the interest as well. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm kind of thinking like the two pack will have the higher ES. than just the Batman. What do you think about that? Which way do you think they'll go? Because to me, what I've noticed a trend is that the DXs that they do usually have the highest ES and like the regular versions. Yeah. That's Harley. different though with some of those, like the Harley Quinn and the ones that I buy. It's like a hundred and fifty dollar difference. It's not a what is this thirteen hundred dollar difference, fourteen hundred dollar difference? Yeah, I guess twelve hundred dollars. What do you think the edition size is going to be? Let's try to see if we can call it. I, 
I think it'll be 1,000 and 500, but I don't know which one's going to get the 1,000, which one's going to get the 500. I don't know if they sell 500 of this. Would you say even 300? I'm thinking it might be a little more like that. I could see it being like 500 for the single and 300 for the deluxe. Uh, I'm kind of thinking they're really going to try and sell as many as they can. Like this Batman's going to be popular. You know, people have been yeah. clamoring for that. It is, but so. they've, they've got competition coming too. You already had like the Catwoman debate, and some people are going to wait for that Batman. Yeah, I'm going to get into that. Let me let's show the video quick, and then we can get into that a bit as well. Um, I don't know. I feel like Dark Side has gone quiet. They've they've been like silenced after the Catwoman thing. You kind of forget about them for a while. French. We gotta watch the video first. Brandon's like, it's okay. He, he just started the video. It's his computer. Primal. Jeez. Primal put put this out here. It's just a, a close up of uh, of the base and and. Uh, Are we supposed piece. to hear it? No. Come on, okay. you can't hear it. It's. Uh, so it should be silent. You're supposed to hear our beautiful angelic voices. Yeah. You think it comes with real bats? No, but no real uh, bats. I would do you I would have liked to see some bats on that base to be frank. No. No? No. No. no? Okay. <laughs> this this base, I actually like how classy this looks. Do you? Okay. I, I like a couple of bats, but I think we've had enough. This looks I love how you can pull out the batarang and he can hold, hold in his, hold in his hand. Which would never happen, by the way. Hey, maybe he keeps one in his pocket just in case. You know what he should have came with that perfume tray, with the bullet dent. You want to get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Or there the, it is. Uh, Look, there it is. The batarang there. I like it. See, poker. here, here is where he's in his little museum, with the artifacts. See? Look here. Oh yeah. 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 Why didn't they use that as the base then, like on the top, that checkered floor? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because you guys are Hot Toys guys. The The cloth suit makes me nervous as hell. But um, maybe you guys are more comfortable with that than I am. Like, is he going to come where I've got to, like, dress him? Does he come where I have to, like, fuss with it a lot? No, no. It's, no. it's like buying a sideshow premium format that used to be uh fabric like the joker uh the joker pf My, uh, was superman call to action i didn't have to futz with all that much yeah no he has a okay. fabric suit on it was you just... may just have to futz around the collar when you're putting the portrait in play yeah, around and to... clear the way okay because you're just gonna have to put the hand in most likely yeah and the hand that goes in the pocket you may have to put it i don't maybe maybe that'll come sculpted already hopefully it will I think that'll come sculpted yeah. the way that looked. It's not showing any skin, I don't think, with the hand in the pocket. Yeah, it, was it was a little bit. A little bit. Was. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hoping it kind of comes sculpted already. That would be And attached. Uh, let's see here. So, addition size to be determined. Uh, went up for pre-order. By the time this airs, it's going to be up for pre-order. Um, we're also going to have another option, so keep that in mind. I'm going to share that here with you guys right now. This was originally teased by Darkseid. The fact that they were doing an 89 Batman. And we got the tease for the Joker. Haven't heard anything since. Which was bold. <laughs> here you're getting the bats. Yeah. But I just... Uh, like when... Nothing against Darkseid, but when they put up their Catwoman, I, I prefer the, the Prime 1 version. So, I don't know. I don't know if they can do a better job on their Batman. My money right now is behind Prime 1. Um, yeah, I well, I just I have faith in Prime 1 that they're, they're going to be able to do a good job. I have to say a small nitpick with Darkseid already is that Joker pose. It won't fit with the Batman because that's when he aimed the gun at um, the crime boss. What was his name, please? Um oh, shit. I, Jack Palance is the guy that played him. Yeah. Oh, uh, dang. Oh, it slipped my mind. I watched this movie the other day. It's okay. I'm going to get it. I have to get it. Vane? Joe? What's Grissom? That? Grissom. Is it Carl Grissom? 
Chris, what it is. that's it. McDonald's. How do we miss that up? <laughs> but I mean, that's that scene where he gets off the elevator yeah. and he's like, "Call me the Joker." Exactly, and then he starts shooting them, and he never points a gun that gun at Batman. He now he po- he points that really long gun at the Batwing. Yep. This this Batman though, the, the cape looks a bit sculpt like it looks like it'll be sculpted here. Now that reminds me more of the Bat Cave, I guess. Yeah, with, with the, the bats. bats. Yeah. Hey, Brendan's not wrong though. They've kind of gone dark on everybody, pun intended. Well, um, they just, right. they're just now sending out their next Star Trek piece. They obviously showed the Catwoman. Prime one immediately undercut them on that. Um, now Prime one's putting the Batman out ahead of theirs. When who knows when theirs is going to show? The big thing is that they've teased the Joker. That's bold. They either need to have it or not. They yeah. better have that license. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And you better execute it well. Because you know, if you don't execute that well. There's so much, so many people behind that. They even teased the penguin to go yeah. with that Catwoman. What? That's what See, they better I think be. They, kind of... they better have them. They better have those licenses already wrapped up to be teasing it. Yeah, they kind of showed their hand a little bit too much and, without and having the, anything. We were originally saying that with the Catwoman, Prime... Dark Side had put out their teaser. Prime One just came out of the blue. Nobody was expecting it. <laughs> then they yeah. dro- yep. And now they're doing the opposite with the Batman. Um, so I think you got a little bit of wiggle room if you would like to wait. I'll still put my money personally on Prime One. Yeah. And it'll also depend if you're someone who doesn't mind having one character from one company and another character from another. If you're okay with mix matching. Uh, you can do that as well. That's an option. Well, it's how well they're done, right? That's what yeah. it's going to come down to. Yeah. But I really hope that Prime 1 does the Joker. This is super exciting. For any 89 uh, Batman fans, this is this is the time to be jumping up for joy. I know that it's, the pricing is the pricing is not 100% there. It, it's it's it just is, what it is now. You're going to pay. Yeah. We, yeah, we got I don't want to say we have to stop complaining about pricing, but we got to stop acting shocked because exactly. it's just the way it's going to be. Like we're we act shocked every time we see the piece. And to Brenton's point, Pattinson last year was the same price. So I don't know. I I'm I wasn't shocked. Um but yeah, I'm just it's I'm ecstatic. I think with this uh 89 Batman statue race that's going on uh because you also had what was a tweeter had that put out their pfeiffer catwoman whichever one can actually show a licensed joker first would it, it'd make it over it'd be game over if prime one came out today and said yeah we have the joker license here's a teaser like everybody would buy the prime ones why haven't they i don't know and that's what makes me wonder if dark side actually has it Do it'd be a game be over yeah it'd be yeah. game over if they showed that said they had it and showed like a teaser even and said we have it then everybody would buy that Catwoman and that batman to yeah. guarantee they paired well you may be right because logically it would make the most sense it looks like prime one and dark side going head to head prime but dark side put up that photo that i just showed you you would think prime one would come and combat it with their batman and their joker so it could be a licensing issue. So then that's why we're getting the Bruce Wayne instead for now. Well, isn't that always been the rumors? Like Jack Nicholson doesn't want to give up his likeness. Like well, he just doesn't. Give it up, please. Yes, he doesn't. And that's the th- big thing. If one of these companies could secure it and the others couldn't, if they went ahead and showed it and been like, yeah, we have the license. Yeah. Like that would make that the line to buy then. Well, he would have been able to, he would have done it to, for Hot Toys, right? Because we got multiple. He, yeah, but from that what I understand, was... they paid it fortune. Like they lost, from what I heard, really? uh, to pay for that license. But they wanted to be the only one. They they were the only ones that had it. They're still yeah. the only ones that have had it. And that yeah. was like a decade ago. Yeah. yeah. Man, I really hope so. That's the one thing I've always wanted. Can you imagine getting like a licensed bus? And oh, I would. But okay, hypothetically. I'm... Since yeah, you're no. you're interested in these Prime One pieces, yeah. if Dark Side came out today and was like, "Yeah, we have the Nichols or the Joker uh, license. We're going to be doing one for sure," and no one else has it, yeah, would that maybe push you 
to the dark side versions. No pun intended. The dark <laughs> side. <laughs> to uh, the dark side. <laughs> uh, I will. Um, it'll all depend on how Dark Side executes the pieces. I won't buy Dark Side's uh, pieces just because they're doing the entire line. If I prefer Prime One, so for example, I prefer Prime One's Catwoman over Dark Side, just because they do a Joker, I won't pick up the Dark Side one. And that'll be the same thing with Batman. Well, we're gonna have to compare once it comes out. So I may pick up that Joker to pair with this Batman, depending on how they mesh. It's gonna it's gonna come down to when they show photos of the of the prototype, uh, how it looks. Because that base looked vastly different. Vastly different, and like you guys said, the pose is doesn't necessarily fit with the scene. So I'm Take just you can get. I'm just hoping that Prime One is gonna do the Joker. I, I we got to be able to ask him questions, or I'm gonna kind of do a post once I get this video out. I'm gonna do a post on Prime One's site. Just like I said, I I really need. I'm excited. I'm excited, but I'm gonna make a like a proper decision here like this is a lot of money yeah this is a lot of money and if you're going to be telling me that this is going to be a pleather cape I, i'm that's going to be very disappointing and i think a lot of community members are going to be disappointed because you can hear already some ramblings in the community that men mentioning that it's a fabric cape i do think the fabric cape is a better option for this like i said over sculpted but that material has to be the highest quality if it's pleather, will you skip it? If it's pleather, will I skip it? I'll that is a with it in the box. Nominal question. Uh, that's that, it'll just stay in the box longer. <laughs> course, uh, you're you're right. Um, I, I I I don't know. I I would I won't be as inclined to purchase it. I may wait for it in the aftermarket on a sale or something. I just, I don't feel inclined to purchase something that I know I'm going to have to meticulously take care of and dropping almost, well, for me, it'll be over three K to get it yeah. to Canada to know and have that in the back of my mind that that Cape may, uh, disintegrate in my hands. That worries me. Now looking at it through the photos, it does look, it doesn't look cheap. Like when we saw Queen Studios patents in Batman Cape, we all said, "What the heck is that?" From the photos, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were like, "No, this cape has." Like first comment was, "What are they doing with this cape?" But when you look at this and you do the three hundred and sixty and the way the lights hitting it, it does look, um, it does look good. Like it looks like uh, a higher end material. I'm no, I'm no specialist, but it, it has that leather look. Um, but I need them to confirm because if they're acting a little funny with a uh, polystone and other materials, well, just tell us what you're using for the cape. I feel like if they were using leather, they would have come out and said, guess what? This is leather because no company want, would hide that kind of information, right? Yeah. Then because leather would be the pinnacle of what you wanted for sure. So by just listing it for sure. So I, I see them going the route almost of. This, like we were saying, reminds me really of J and D, where you're getting the Bruce and the Batman. But if you're going that route, then you should be, and you're charging, you're charging a lot. Um, twenty seven, isn't that some of those J and D pieces? That's roughly what they're around, no? Yeah. If, if I can remember the two, so and they're using silicone. Um. So, uh, I, I I think without a doubt that needs to be, uh, needs to be leather the needs to leather and like i said i'm gonna put up a post guys support it please get by, behind it i'll put it up on the prime one site and let's get the word out because they can do it they can do it easily yeah i have one more question before we end the the joker if yes, if likeness if this is the cost for his like for keaton's likeness what's the most you would be willing to pay to get an accurate joker if they said hey it's got to be $2,500 for a one third to get that Joker. Would you pay it? If his likeness costs that much no. more than Keaton's, what's no. your, what's your cutoff? Uh, if it's just a Joker single pack. Yep. 
I'd be at the fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen to oh, that's I don't know. That's I don't know. I don't think this is likeness. I don't think this is like this, this price point. This I don't think this is like this. Uh, but yeah, do we make what would too be, much of that? Again? Do we make too much of this licensing likeness cost? Like, do you think well, that it's well, a lot less? Because uh, exactly. no one actually knows the number. Right? We talk about it a lot for people that have no idea. I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm, I'm curious. So, I, I'd almost like companies to be more open with collectors. They don't I, necessarily I, come have to come out and spill all the beans but you know an educated consumer if you were taking the time to ed educate your consumers on how your thought process goes into pricing a product or how your artists are thinking about how to execute um a, a final product like a why do they decide to go fabric instead of sculpt it why is uh uh, Keaton suit fabric and not sculpt uh, this and that like w if they inform their community I think the consumer would appreciate and be more willing to invest in their product do you think they don't because they don't want the flood of response back well you get the flood of response back regardless but if they well, if they stonewall it they just don't listen to it or they listen to it but just passively listen to it Whereas if they start responding to people and interacting more, then it only just makes more people want interaction. Correct. I'll say something to that, but Brenton, you wanted to sneak something in? Yeah, I was just going to say, they'll never tell you like pricing stuff at all because when you find out that it makes it only makes or costs like $600 for them to make this and then you see where their profit yeah. margin is, they're never going to give those details up, especially... Yeah, and uh, for sure. And not only that, but for the competitors as well. But just keeping the, us on the same track, right? Because then everybody starts speculating, license this, license that. This, it's all speculation. Like, I'm not asking Prime 1 to be like Queen Studios and start going on streams and start, uh, you know, chit-chatting with everybody. They were they were in their group yesterday uh, talking about the Ivy. So just stuff like that, answering a few questions maybe a couple times a week, once a month, just, or even they can, they don't even have to come out, just make a statement themselves, a little video or something. Uh, maybe I'm asking for too much. I just think we don't have enough communication between companies sometimes. Oh. And I think if they, we did, community members, sometimes when these releases come out, community members are like cats with their back up, just ready to attack, just ready to attack and pounce on anything. And I think if there's that communication, Everybody will kind of be like, okay, this was the thought process. This is what's going on. This is why they decided to do this. And, and, and then everybody can still have their opinions, but there's no, it, it, it takes away the, the room for any speculation. Maybe they get entertainment out of those cat fights. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. <laughs> is it, I mean, it, it could very much be a cultural thing that their home True. audience doesn't ask questions. They True. don't want to know. This is maybe a completely like, north american aspect of we want to know everything and have all, all this information yeah you, you are right i have heard that before um that open communication and it, it's the same similar if we mentioned one six hot toys is kind of the same thing yeah they're, and look yeah. they're they're based in the same area right yeah. so they you know hot toys doesn't really talk or you know do too much with the community they're just like here it is yeah yeah i mean prime one they might just get entertainment out of it. They're just having like a board board Tuesday, and they're like, "Let's blow their minds and drop an <laughs> ivy." Look at these fools! It's so true. No, no teases, no nothing. Was, I woke up. I'm like, "Yep." They're just like, "Let's make this an entertaining day." Boom. Go. Someone else repainted it. Nope. Um, well, this was awesome, guys. Thanks for uh, taking some time to chat. This is fun. Like, I will absolutely love this piece. I love this IP. I hope it's successful so that they can continue. Um, it's a four figure, four statue release for returns, Penguin and Catwoman and the Batman. You can get, almost, I think, get away with not doing it, but, uh, and then for 89, you got the Joker uh, and the Batman. So hopefully Joker's around the corner. Uh, Prime One's doing some killer stuff from the pipeline, from what we're seeing in the showcase and some of the posts on Facebook. Uh, so I appreciate what they're doing. I uh, I'm super excited. I'm just excited that companies are are getting this IP, 
and doing a great job with it. They're taking too much of my money. <laughs> I'm just going to start <laughs> my paychecks. Just send it to Prime One directly. Right? Just change the name. Yeah, they're taking too much of my money lately. So We have till 2024, right? So we'll worry about it then. I don't. No? I'm on most of mine are coming in 2023, what, hopefully. What's, what's next? <laughs> what do you have next? The, your setup is absolutely stunning. But what, what do you have next coming on? Uh, well, Talon and Talon and Azrael oh, are on nice. the boat. Yeah. So those should be around the corner. Uh, Batcave, who knows? Yeah, that one. Um, waiting a little bit of time. Then, it's, then it's Punchline and now the other Ivy and Penguin. <laughs> wow. And after that, you're done? You think you're going to be done? Well, then I'm all the way caught up. They haven't announced anything else that I want. That If that Harley Who Laughs has real chains, though, that's going to be tempting. <laughs> Probably, because the Batman had it. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking? Sp- like, you're okay space-wise to continue? No. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> put I a, can, a two-tier I, shelving behind you. I can accommodate what I just listed. After that, it's, I don't know. Yeah, well, you don't need to, you don't need to sit. You something. could stand. That that might be what it comes to. I'll end up that. Or my daughter told me this morning on my way to on dropping off to school. She was like, "You can put some stuff in my room." And I wow, was like, "Smart, Love thank it. you, but no." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? You get all that stuff in, and then they're like, "Oh, here's a comic Riddler." I'd make space, man. If the if things catch my the good part about being caught up is that you're not digging out of the hole, so I can afford to then just like keep up the pace. Yeah, um, where I. I had to go back and like buy all these old Arkham pieces that I wanted. But yeah, then, the backtracking is where it's tough. Exactly. So now that I'm caught up, if they come out with a comic Riddler, I'd either just like make space or blow out a wall and we don't have a kitchen anymore. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Uh, how about you, Brenton? Do you have anything, uh, anything in the pipeline? Nope. No? Okay. Pipeline's clean. It's just, there's, <laughs> it's, there's so many pieces to... to so many pieces to consider. All these companies are pumping them out. So it's sit back, relax. There's no rush to buying now. Uh, things aren't going anywhere. Well, uh, Joe, Brenton, appreciate you uh, stopping by to chat. Uh, a passionate discussion tonight. Uh, and everyone who's watching, appreciate you guys. Appreciate the support. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're excited for this release, what you'd like to see out of Prime 1 going forward. If you want any tweaks made to this. Drop us a chat. Uh, drop by YouTube and drop us a comment. I uh, always love to chat with the community. Uh, we'll put a pin in it here and uh, we'll catch you on the next Reactables. Always remember, guys, collect responsibly. Until next time. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it.